Hey guys, it's Joe and welcome back. So I'm gonna take you today on a bathroom tour as a new amputee. Bathroom tour sounds odd, doesn't it? But as an amputee, it's important because falling over is a really big concern. If it happens, if you fall on your residual limb, that can lead to issues, that can lead to delayed getting on your prosthetic leg. So staying safe and not falling down is really important. Now, before I had my amputation, I was able to make a few modifications in my bathroom and I wanna show you what those are and the ones that have actually been really helpful to me. There were some that I just tossed out because you know what, I overthought it and it didn't actually make any sense to do, but I'm gonna show you the ones that have been really helpful to me and why. So let's take a look. All right, welcome to my bathroom, you guys. All right, so the first uh, modification that we made is having these handrails basically on the toilet itself. I thought that it might be overkill to have that, but it really wasn't. Super helpful coming home from the hospital, being dizzy on medication, getting used to a new body basically and a new sense of balance. Having those to hold on to, really, really helpful. Um, pretty easy modification to make as well. This little stool right here, I think that was about 30 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond, was really, really, really important, both for showering and using the restroom. So I used it to rest my cast on, um, wherever I was sitting, really. Having my leg below my heart was really painful as it was swollen, as it was healing, it still is, honestly. So being able to prop it up on that was really helpful. Also, when it was in the shower, not everyone has a cast on when they get home from the hospital. I did. So we had to wrap it up in um, a bunch of stuff to keep it safe from the water. And then we put it, I put it up on that little stool to uh, keep it out of the shower itself. So in the shower, we did have a shower chair. That's kind of vital for any new amputee or amputees in general. There's also shower benches if you have a tub set up, but this shower isn't going to be very conducive for that setup. So inside the shower itself, I have the shower chair, like I said, and then within reaching distance, we had, um, you know, obviously, soap and everything here. And then here's another modification I made. I know it looks messy, having the shower head hanging down, but previously it wasn't a shower head like that, you know, just to turn the water on up at the top. But this way I can actually grab the shower head, be able to turn it on and off really quickly, and then I just leave it down there when I'm done so I can pick it up again really easily. Then over here, we installed these so that um, for shampoo, body wash, and conditioner so that I could sit and dispense those instead of having to reach down. Reaching down when things are wet is a little bit dangerous, so this made it a lot easier. As far as the rest of the bathroom goes, I put in a couple hooks. Hooks end up being really helpful for just, you know, whatever you end up thinking of. I ended up using that for a hair towel. I'll rest my knee on that stool as I'm washing my hands, brushing my teeth, anything like that. Um, I did, you know, put a cup there to keep my toothbrush out. It's one less thing to open in the evening. I have antibacterial soap out there. I just made sure that um, the shelves and cupboards were stocked with everything I could need for the next, you know, couple weeks after surgery so I didn't really have to think and everything was right there. So coming out of the bathroom also, because I don't have a big bathroom down here, we put a couple bins right there, as well as a laundry basket. So I could literally, um, you know, put laundry in the basket without having to move at all. Really reduces the, the danger factor. That's it for the bathroom tour, guys. Let me know what works for you. I know that everyone modifies their house differently. Everyone needs different things. Some people use a wheelchair. Some people just use crutches. I mean, it's different for everyone everyone's journey varies so let me know what your bathroom looks like what you've done what's been helpful to you um, i would love to hear about your house so let me know in the comment section i've loved what you guys have been sharing with me i've learned a lot honestly so thank you so much i look forward to seeing you in the next video and i will talk to you soon bye guys